and I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Nicola Regetz, working for Swisscom as a software engineer. Hello, and my name is Bernd Kranich. I'm a technical lead at SAP Cloud Platform, and we both have the pleasure to um, be the co-track chairs for the core projects track. And with that, I think we've earned the honor to open up the track and talk a little bit about like uh, what we what we did there. So. Essentially, as, as a co track chair, you are presented with all the submissions for a particular track, and now the challenge is obviously to pick the ones uh, that kind of fit that track best. So um, we decided on a, on a couple of selection criteria to actually do that. So obviously, first of all, and that is maybe also a tip for people who are thinking about submitting uh, tracks for a Cloud Foundry Summit or any tech conference in, in particular, uh, we looked at the title and the abstract and, and asked ourselves, like, is, is that really interesting for the people that come to uh, the core projects track? Uh, kind of obvious, right? That then also, uh, think about is what you're proposing really fitting to the track that you're proposing the topic into so we had a couple of interesting proposals but we then ended up rejecting those because they did not really fit the bill of a core projects track so if you talk about I don't know an interesting customer project then maybe there's other tracks at Cloud Foundry Summit where such a talk fits fits way better so so that is one uh, and, and then obviously we, we had to answer the question of like what is core projects anyhow and then if you look up uh, kind of the Cloud Foundry open source projects on the Cloud Foundry homepage you obviously find out you have like bigger buckets you have Cloud Foundry application runtime the thing that was formerly called Cloud Foundry I would say then you have Cloud Foundry container runtime so uh, Kubo um, the Bosch release that takes Kubernetes and makes that deployable via Bosch you have obviously Bosch itself as the lifecycle management tool uh, powering many of, of uh, the projects inside Cloud Foundry. And we also like have ta talks around operations topics. So it's not only about like those core technical things, but then also how, how to run that stuff. Uh, so that was one selection criteria. And then it also turned out that we had like two or, or even more talks that kind of met all that criteria, but then we're targeting relatively similar spaces. So we essentially ended up kind of putting them next to each other, saying like which of those two or three proposals is the most interesting one and, and cover, can cover the most uh, broad space over there. At beginning of June, after we were assigned this duty, Bern and myself synced and decided to go for a separate scoring and assessment of all the submissions and then resync after maybe 10 days uh, and then compare and see where we have matching um, assessments and where we disagree to then discuss that. Um, I personally try to not look at the authors or the speakers and the companies when doing these assessments to just find out after I had scores, scored the submissions. When we um, compared that we had a perfect match, so either fully accept or fully reject a submission, we would then not spend too much time on it. But there was a rough amount of like eight to nine submissions where we had some disagreement where we discussed and then also, like Bernd just said, tried, I mean, because all of these would have been acceptable, but we had to be, uh, to, uh, to accept at most 12 talks in total. So we tried to have a overall coverage of at most topics at po as possible. And then after these discussions, we um, submitted a common um, um, scoring. Ultimately, what you see in the schedule today and tomorrow in the core track will be exactly what we submitted. So the 12 that we accepted are now on the schedule, plus one that has been added. So you have a total of 13 talks in this track. OK, and with that, just to round off the, the intro, a quick overview on the tracks that we have uh, finally se selected. Uh, including also uh, the corresponding speakers and like the rough topic area that we thought this tracks would, would belong to. So we're going to, to kick off the day uh, with a talk on, on Bosch links. 
Um, then we are going to continue with the Bosch related topic and, and look into CI CD uh, around Bosch and how to auto upgrade versions in, inside Bosch packages. Uh, next up are the colleagues uh, that are working on bringing in Istio uh, inside Cloud Foundry and, and what new capabilities that this will bring. Uh, then it's over uh, again another networking related topic to container networking, which is obviously related to like the overall routing, but then a slightly different perspective on it. Um, then a comparison between Cloud Foundry application runtime and Cloud Foundry container runtime. Obviously, that's uh, a topic that uh, many people have, have questions about when to pick what. Uh, then we, we have Marco talking about um, SLOs and, and Bosch performance related topics, so another Bosch topic, and I think Marco pointed out there's quite a few Bosch uh, related things uh, as well. Um, so that's uh, obviously part of, of the core track, and then uh, we have um, Matt and, and Nikolai uh, talking about the services API, so essentially the piece in Cloud Foundry that deals with the open service broker. Then day two, uh, we, we have Sri talking about um, IAM. We have um, the colleagues from uh, IBM talking about uh, topics in, in the cloud controller area. Uh, we have Adam talking about a new component in the area of logging, which is called log cache. Uh, we have a talk that we put in like the operations bucket, which is around uh, disaster recovery of the overall platform. Uh, we have the Garden Windows team talking about the stuff that they are working on, and then last but not least, we have Doug talking about the Open Service Broker API specification in total. And with that, we hope that we have done a decent job in kind of touching all the areas that make up uh, the Cloud Foundry core projects, and uh, we wish you nice two days, uh, and hopefully you stay in like one or the other uh, talk that is happening in, in this room. Um, so Nicola and I, we will try to hang uh, out here as kind of our schedule allows and also try and, and moderate the session a little bit, kind of carry the microphones to the people asking questions, as I said, like as, as our schedules uh, allow it. So with that, thank you very much and uh, enjoy the two days at Cloud Foundry Summit. Thank you very much.